From our studios here in Sharpsville, Indiana, this is the music scene. With our guests, Aiden Johnson. Courtney Pitzer. Elliot Zabo. And Levi White. Your hosts on the music scene are Cassie Martin and Jacob Pyle. Thank you very much. Hello and welcome to the music scene. My name is Jacob Pyle. And I'm Cassie Martin. We're glad to have you with us. The music scene is back. Each week on the music scene, we are going to feature some interesting, fascinating local acts on the show. And let me just say this up right up front. Although Jacob and I are the hosts of the show, we are not the stars of the show. The stars are local artists that appear on the show each week. We will have four such acts on the week's show. And for the sake of this pilot, we're actually going to be showcasing past performances from the previous episode of the music scene so we can get some idea as to what the show is about. So without further ado, let's get started with our first guest. Our first act on our show this week is a singer from Greentown, Indiana. He, as well as most of the other acts you will see on the music scene, has performed a lot of performed at a lot of events around the city of Kokomo. You know, Cassie, Levi and I have had many opportunities to catch up on numerous occasions. He is such a nice and friendly person, both off stage and on, and he is an amazing person. Sounds like it. Mm -hmm. We should point out one thing. What you're about to see was originally filmed over the Howard County 4-H Fairgrounds in Greentown back in March of 2020. This is taped before COVID-19 pandemic. So with that being said, please help help us welcome to the music scene, Levi White. <laughs> All in, all in, 
all in I've got to be falling, falling so carelessly I'll hold you in my dream to feel it's meant to be But I'm holding on to one dead light I told you how I feel, exposing everything Don't know how things will turn out for the eyes Why they call it falling in love Guys, I can't stop it, it's true There is no bluff to call I'm all in, all in, all in I've got to be falling, falling so carelessly Good job, Levi. Our next act is a lady by the name of Courtney Pitzer. Courtney, while originally from Kokomo, is currently in Nashville right now in college. But like everybody else, she started out at a local started out in a local music scene. In fact, the first time I heard of Courtney Pitzer was, and I think this was so sweet. You heard of the Disney movie Frozen, right? Yes. And you know who Elsa is in the movie, right? Of course, yes. Well, she would dress up as Elsa from the Disney movie Frozen, and she would sing some songs from the movie to the children. And when I and when I saw that in the paper, it was the most sweetest thing, really, I heard of. Oh, that's so great. Yeah. So here's seeing an original song for us entitled You Don't Get to Tell Me How I Feel is our special guest, Courtney Pitzer. Pitzer. Yeah. 
Good job, Courtney. Well, Jacob, as much as we enjoy letting these local musicians have their say, <laughs> there's somebody else that we need to have a say as well. What's that? Our sponsors. Oh, yeah, good idea. <laughs> we'll be back in the morning. Later in the show, Aiden Johnson sings about riding bikes in his basement. And coming up after this break, Jacob Pyle sings about his girl. We'll have that for you when the music scene continues. Welcome back. I want to take a break and introduce Axe and interview my co-host on the music scene. He's not only the co-host of the show, he's also the producer of the show as well. Please welcome Jacob Pyle. Thank you, Cassie. Thank you. Now, keep things, now to keep things fair, I'm going to make up three questions off the top of my head to ask Jacob. Jacob doesn't know what the questions are, I'm going to ask him, so this will be a surprise to everybody. So, are you ready, Jacob? I think so. Okay, what is your favorite color? My favorite color would have to be... Can I say two? Red yes, of course. and green. Okay. What kind of a genre of music do you like? I like all genres. Um, you know, like I've done many karaoke. I people ask me all the time when I do karaoke and I sing at events, okay. like what their favorite genre is. And I like all genres. I mostly do. I like the, the two main ones. I like are country and pop. I like those two. Okay. Okay. What about decade? The decade. Do you have a favorite decade to go with that question? Well, a favorite decade? I would say. I would say I sing mostly sixties to eighties music. Okay. Sometimes I like. I like, I mean, I like some music from today as well, but, you know, it's like, you know, nowadays I think that, you know, and I'm, I mean, so most of the songs from today are pretty good. I like, I like all the songs from today, but some of them, music, I'll put it to you this way, music has changed so much over the years, mm -hmm. and, because I remember when, like, you know, going back to the old days when you had the old, because uh, the, 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 when there would be like a full blown out orchestra and a okay. recording session. yeah. And now they're using like synthesizers and electric. It's not the same. Like right, right, right. it is not the same as it was no. when, like when, back in the day. Back in the day, yeah. Yeah, born too too late. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What about your favorite food? For the last one. Last one, I would say, hands down, pizza. Probably. Okay. Yeah. I like pizza. Okay. Okay. So I understand that you sing, right? Yes. Okay, I have a song request for you. Would you mind singing My Girl? Absolutely. I would love to do that song for you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacob Pyle. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, outside I got, got the month of May. May. I guess you'd say, what can make me feel this way, my girl? Talking about my girl, my girl, I got so much honey, the bees in me. I, I got a sweeter song. Then the birds in the trees. That's on the song so many times, I'm telling you. <laughs> I actually know the lyrics. I haven't right heard it in a while. Yeah, I know. know song. Yeah. Well, I guess you'd say, what can make me feel this way, my girl? Talking about my girl, my girl, I don't need no money. Fortune or fame, mm -hmm. I got all the riches, baby. One man can claim. Well, I guess you say, What 
can make me feel this way, my girl. Talking about my girl, my girl. Talking about my girl. Good job, Jacob. Thank you. Now let's move on to our next act. Yes. Our next act is a guy by the name of Aiden Johnson. Now, Cassie, I have a question for you. Yeah. Have you ever ridden a bike before? I have. If you did, did you enjoy it? I did. I did pretty well. Did you enjoy it so much that you decided to ride your bike in the basement of your own house? Ooh, if it was big enough, I would. You definitely. Okay. Well, this next guy has a song entitled Riding Bikes in My Basement. And the singer that's going to do it for us now is Aiden Johnson. break right now. That's right. We'll be back with more of the music scene after this. Don't go anywhere. Later in the show, we meet a fellow loser by the name of Elliot Zabo. And coming up after this break, Jacob Pyle interviews Cassie Martin. We'll have that for you when the music scene continues. We 
we are back, and we are sitting down right now with my co-host on the show, Cassie Martin. Now, I've got to ask you, Cassie, how are you enjoying the music scene so far? I'm loving it. Loving the guests, loving the music. And I think you kind of asked me this when we did our interview earlier. What's your favorite type of music to sing or listen to? Oh, I like everything. Yeah. I honestly do, from rock and roll to country to hip-hop. Okay, and, sing it all. and this isn't on the script, but um, I, I, this is the same question you asked. I'll ask the same question you asked me. What kind of de- what 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 kind of decade of music do you like listening to besides today's music? I would have to say like the seventies, sixties, seventies. So about like me. Yep. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Now, what made you interested in taking part as our co-host on the music scene? Oh, for the new adventure. Good. Yeah, awesome. All right, we got another act for you, and this one is also a fellow Hoosier, but is currently residing in Savannah, Georgia. He is an actor and a singer, and the song he's going to be singing is a song called What Are You Going to Say? Well, there's only five words I have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, Elliot Sabo. each other during the show but there's one more person that is also involved with music scene that we would like to introduce to all of you one thing we should point out to you not necessarily will you not necessarily see him every week but you will definitely hear him he was the guy that introduced both Jacob and I at the top of the show and in addition to being our announcer on the music scene, he's also currently doing a play entitled Who's Afraid of Virginia Wolf? Where's Jacob Pyle to interview the announcer to the music scene himself, Dave Kay? 
Thank you, Cassie, and thank you, Dave, for joining us this week. Thanks for having me, Jacob. So, Dave, tell us about yourself. Well, I was born and raised in Kokomo, Indiana, and I trained in theater at Ball State University. I was a professional actor for about 20, 25 years, and uh, recently moved back from Colorado, where I'd worked at a dinner theater for quite a few years. Mm -hmm. And uh, back here in Kokomo, acting in different productions and uh, working. Awesome. So I've got to ask you this. We talked about it some when we met for the first time. Mm -hmm. What made you interested in wanting to be the announcer on the music scene? Well, I'm a big supporter of music, local music especially. Uh, every town that I've lived in and worked in, I've ended up working with musicians and uh, just the music scene in general. I've also uh, done some technical work in the music field. And so I really thought I'd get behind supporting local music acts and supporting music and getting it out there for people to, li to listen to. Awesome. Now, just so you know, as Cassie mentioned in the introduction, Dave here is actually in the middle of doing a play called Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. How are you enjoying that experience so far? It's intense. It's a great show. Uh, it's written by one of the classic playwrights, Edward Albee, uh, who won the uh, Tony Award for it many years ago. And uh, it's a fantastic play. It's very intense. And I've uh, been doing uh, production of it down in Noblesville, Indiana. So it's a little bit of a drive on top of it. Memorizing all those lines is tough. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you who are wondering how is Dave able to be here and do the play at the same time, this was actually pre-recorded about a couple of days ago. Yep. Dave could not, be, could not actually be with us in person the day that we actually filmed most of this. But... Yeah, but yeah, but, but all but pretty much all the stuff that you'll be hearing on the show from him is pre is, is pre recorded. Correct. Yeah, I, when I did radio, and of course uh, you you and I talked about the radio experience that I've had. Uh, a lot of the breaks were ended up pre recorded unless it was a caller in type of situation, and uh, it freed us up to do production like uh, producing commercials and things. So I'm yeah. used to doing pre recorded work. <laughs> and in fact, this interview that you're watching right now is pre recorded. So yeah. true. But we we were also talking when we first met uh -huh. that in addition to being a terrific local actor, like you just mentioned, you were actually a DJ at different radio yeah. stations, mm -hmm. not just here in Indiana, but in several states across the United States. What was the best part of doing that? Well, I enjoyed the music, of course, just like supporting but music. I got to meet different musicians working in different places. I was in uh, North Carolina, Virginia, and New Hampshire, and eventually out in Colorado. Uh, but I also worked here in Kokomo and uh, the Kokomo area at Z92.3 back in the day before it went Z92.5. Z93, uh, it was just fun get, uh, listening to the music, picking the music. Back when you first started in radio, you got to pick the music that people listened to. And uh, that was exciting. And you also sometimes, depending on the station, got to play local artists, which was a great experience. All right. This question is not on the script. Okay. But I wanted to ask you, I, I just wanted to say, do you have any words of advice that you could give me and Cassie about doing this new show? Oh, well, just make sure and tell the people how to listen to those artists that you're supporting. All these great names, all these great folks that we're having on the show, uh, we need to let the folks know where they can go to listen to this music for themselves and to help them in their musical career. Awesome. And do you have any words of good luck for us? Oh, of course. Always. I mean, uh, we have good luck, but you guys don't need luck. You've got skill. <laughs> True. <laughs> All right, Dave. We are running short on time, but before we leave, if anybody wants to go see Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, <laughs> how can we purchase tickets? Sure. You can go to mudcreekplayers.org. Uh, that's the group that I'm performing with, Mud Creek Players. It's in Noblesville, Indiana, so the North uh, Indianapolis. <laughs> just north of Indianapolis. Uh, so a little bit of a drive for our Kokomo, Sharpsville uh, area, but hey, not that bad and a great show. So mudcreekplayers.org is the place to get tickets and information. All right, Dave, always a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you for everything you do for the music scene. And thank you, Jacob.
no problem. We'll be back with more of the music scene right after this. If you want to be a guest on the music scene, send Jacob an email. His email address is jtpile1 at aol.com. Or if you prefer snail mail, send Jacob a self-addressed stamped envelope to the music scene. Care of Pile Media Ventures, 2241 West Jefferson Street, Apartment A213, Kokomo, Indiana, 46901. Now once again, here's to here's to do a cover version of the song, The Living Years, as originally done by Mike and the Mechanics is my co-host to the music scene, Jacob Pyle. Every generation blames the one before and all of their frustrations come beating on your door. I know that I'm a prisoner all my father held so near I know that I'm a hostage To all his hopes and fears I just wish I could have told him In the living years Rumpled bits of paper Filled with imperfect thoughts Stilted conversations I'm afraid that's all we've got You say you just don't see it He says it's perfect sense You just can't get agreement In this present tense We all talk a different language Talking in defense Whoa, oh, say it loud Oh, say clear You can listen as well as you hear Oh, it's too late Oh, when we die To admit we don't see eye to eye So we open up a quarrel Between the present and the past We only sacrifice the future It's the bitterness that lasts So don't yield to the fortunes Sometimes see his fate He may have a new perspective On a different date And if you don't give up And if you don't give in He may just be okay Say it, say it, say it loud Whoa, say it clear You can listen as well as you hear Whoa, it's too late Oh, when we die To admit we don't see eye to eye I wasn't there that night Morning, when my father passed away I didn't get to tell him All the things I had to say I think I caught his spirit Later that same year I'm sure I heard his echo In my baby's newborn tears I just wish I could have told him In the living years Say it, say it, say it loud Whoa, say it clear You can listen as well as you hear It's too late Oh, when we die To admit we don't see 
say it clear Say it, say it loud We'll be back with more of the music scene after this. That's our show this week. But before we leave, let's take a moment to thank all of our wonderful stars that made this week's episode of Music Scene possible. Aiden Johnson. Courtney Pitzer. Elliot Zabo. Levi White. And we hope that you can be back with us next week where we will feature more up-and-coming artists. Cassie and I will be here, and hopefully so will you. We hope to see you then. And with that, that's going to do it for this week's episode of The Music Scene. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jacob Pyle. And I'm Cassie Martin. And we leave you, as we always do, with this friendly reminder. Always remember to keep a smile on your face. And a song in your heart. Goodbye, everybody. Six scene, I'm Dave.